Well done disrupting the Cabal on Nessus. I wish that was the end of it. But unfortunately, it's just the beginning. Empress Keitel has emerged as the new face of their empire and demanded I pledge loyalty to her. Our conversation went as well as you might expect. Thanks to the information you recovered, we know this. Former members of the Red Legion and other leaderless Cabal are all competing for a seat on Keitel's War Council. In an effort to prevent Cabal reunification, I'm assembling a team to take out her aspiring commanders. Lord Saladin will act as field commander and Osiris will report directly to me as my advisor. He's appointed a new hunter, Crow, to be your reconnaissance expert. As always, Amanda Holiday will provide air support. Your task is simple. Defeat Keitel's commanders across the Soul System. Once you eliminate their leadership, Cabal infighting will prevent Keitel from amassing real power. If we miss this opportunity, another all-out war will become inevitable. Good luck. The new style suits you. Spoils of victory in the reef. Blint chose the materials. You haven't let me pay for any of this. If you want to repay me, keep that mask affixed to your face. It will protect you from the city's ignorance. I know what it's for. If this is what it takes to make a difference, I'm in. I've had to walk these streets under disguise more times than you know. Now I am welcome. Soon you shall be too. Patience and caution. Ah, Guardian. Saladin spoke highly of your assault. They think their tank is a show of strength, but it is no Iron Lord. Saladin will hold the line so our attention can be directed elsewhere. Names are needed. Examples. My friends in the Reef have been talking. At this point, Red Legion commanders are either brutes or braggarts. Not the type for subtlety. They want Keitel's attention. We will use that information to direct our fury. Create a power vacuum and show the Cabal the path they've chosen. Dismissed. Together in the field. Huh. I'm starting to get the impression you all like having me around. Approach, Guardian. Believe me when I tell you that I did not know of Sabathun's deception until she arrived in the Dreaming City. She offered me a bargain. If I exercise her worm, she will release Osiris and help us defeat the Black Fleet. I recognize the risk. 
Her inevitable betrayal is all but a guarantee. But without her worm, Savathun is vulnerable. Unprotected by the security of her throne world, mortal. To separate Savathun from the parasite inside her, I need Techians, skilled awoken mystics. Few still live. Most were lost, guiding my return to the Dreaming City when Zivu Arath ambushed us. But I can still feel their minds. The mystic compass you hold will reveal pathways to each lost Techion. Relight the pathways of the Ascendant Plane and guide my people back to me. My wrath, Petravenge, will brief you further. Queen Mara has already told you we must recover our lost Techians in order to free Savathun from her servitude to the Worm Gods. I will tell you how. Imagine the universe as a set of coins, stacked one on top of the other. The top coin is our reality. The bottom, the Ascendant Plane. Between them lies an intermeshing of ever-shifting pathways known as Ley Lines. Almost all the ancient pathways are now defunct, but beings of paracausal ability can navigate and rebuild them. This is the art of wayfinding. We know our lost Techians are stranded somewhere among the ley lines, and they're leaving us markers to follow. I'm forwarding you the coordinates to the first marker. It should tell us which ley line to look in. Then we'll use the blind well to tear open a rift and send you through to find them. Zivu Arath is desperate to capture her sister. Her forces, which now include the Taken, will attempt to stop you at every turn. Listen, I know your crow intends to accompany you. Mara also wants him close. Our Techians went to retrieve Queen Mara on my orders. This can't fail. Not because of him. <laughs> 